Hello, kindergarten, and welcome to music this week. Wow, look at these drums. Aren't they cool? These are awesome drums from a place in the world called Cuba. Okay, so Cuba is a country that's kind of closer to Florida than here. And in Cuba, these drums were used widely all over to play Cuban music. These drums are called the timbales. Can you say that? Timbales. And they are played with drumsticks, and there's two of them. And sometimes you'll see the timbales being played with some other instruments such as a cowbell. I don't have a cowbell set up right now, but I can show you the timbales. Now you can hit the head of the drum And you'll see that one of the drums is smaller than the other one, and the smaller one makes the higher sound, that's right. And the bigger one makes the lower sound, that is correct. Okay, so let's listen to the high timbali. to hit the side or the rim. So the shell of the drum, this part on the top side, is made of what? If you said metal, you are correct. That is made of metal. So you can hit the metal part like this. Okay? And you can take all those sounds and put them together and make a really cool rhythm. So I haven't played the timbales in a very long time, but let's see if I can get some kind of decent rhythm going, okay? So here's our beat. And here's our rhythm. Now, the uh, timbales are on a stand. I know you can't see the bottom, but if I were to lift them up, which I don't think I could do for very long because they are very heavy. You ever notice I have a lot of heavy instruments? Okay, so if I lift these up, you can see that I'm holding a stand. They're on a stand, okay? They're actually not that heavy. They're lighter than I thought. All right, so the timbales. Okay, so we're gonna go to a story now. I'm gonna come around the timbales, and we, uh-oh, we're trapped. <laughs> I have to move these drums because if I don't move the drums, we won't have the microphone. Okay, there we go. All right, so, yeah, love the timbales. Now, our story this week is a story called Five Little Ducks, and true story, I was walking my dog the other day, Obi, and we came across a little stream. And it's kind of in the woods, all right? And I looked down and I actually saw two ducks. And I didn't expect to see them there because normally I would see ducks on a big pond or when I grew up on the river, uh, I would see ducks on the river. But I actually saw them in the woods in a stream, okay? So they definitely were able to find the water. All right, so five little ducks, okay? Here we go. I want you to be able to see, so I'm gonna move my microphone, try to get it a little bit out of the way there. Here we go. Five little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 quack. But only four little ducks came waddling back. So she started out with five and only four came back. I wonder where that one went. Hmm. Let's find out. Four little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. 
Mother Duck said, quack, 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 quack. But only three little ducks came waddling back. Wow, we started off with five and now we only have three. I wonder where that one went. Looks like he's talking to his friend there. Who's his friend? Hmm. Three little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother Duck said, quack, 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 quack. Can you guess how many are going to come back? But only two little ducks came waddling back. That's right, just two. Hmm, I wonder where they're going. Two little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother Duck said, quack, 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 quack. I wonder what Mother Duck is telling them. But only one little duck came waddling back. Hmm. Let's see where this guy went. Looks like they're finding friends in the forest. Okay. One little duck went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 quack. But no little ducks came waddling back. See this guy? He's talking to somebody, right? And look at mother duck. She looks really what? Sad. Aw, let's see what happens. Sad Mother Duck went out one day Over the hills and far away Mother Duck cried, quack, 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 quack. Oh, wow, look! And all five little ducks came waddling back. They were on an adventure. They got to meet some different friends. Can you name three of the friends they met along the way? Oh wait, before you do that, look, there's the song. So they met some friends, right? Like the first little duck he met, let's see, who did he meet? He met that guy, right? Maybe that's a beaver, right? Because he has a flat tail and he's sitting on a log and beavers like to build dams that keep the water from passing through, right? So he met that guy. Can you think of another person or animal that they met? That's right, the cow. They met the cow, okay. There was one interesting one in here that I saw. Let's see, there was another duck and he met a seagull, right? And it looks like they're by the ocean because look what the next duck met. That's right, he met the crab, right? You wouldn't want to meet a crab, would you? Okay, and then they all came back. Oh, there was one more. The last guy, right? He met the goat. Okay, maybe that's the goat behind behind Stony Brook School. <laughs> okay, and then they all came back, and that was the end of the story. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that today, and I hope you enjoyed the timbales. Okay, maybe I'll practice them a little bit so I can sound better. <laughs> okay, it's been a great time with you. I will see you next week. Have a great day. Bye.